everyone and welcome back to Subbox Love. Today I have my BoxyCharm for November 2019 in. BoxyCharm is now $25 a month, which includes the shipping. You can choose one add-on in the box. They do have a new BoxyCharm Premium, which unfortunately I'm still on the wait list for, hopefully next month. So let's get into it. The charm is the charm. <laughs> the box is stellar and it looks like I did get version 10. On the back it does talk about Boxy Lux, which is coming in December, Boxy Pop-Up, which I don't even know if they've worked out the problems with that one yet. It was supposed to start on the 12th. We all know that didn't happen. They do have the new um, complexion test to where you go on, then you go to their boxycharm.com slash customization, I believe. So I have the Becca. I saw some had the Pretty Vulgar. So I'm not sure. I'll probably, looks like Cashmere will probably be my best bet, but I'll take care of this off camera. And like I said, I'll go on and put that on. They are going to start including things like concealers and foundations, which is awesome. We do have the card that comes with it on the inside that talks about it, what's in the box. I did get the variation, it looks like, that has the two brushes by BoxyCharm. I believe one's a powder and foundation if I saw the other ones correctly. So this would definitely be your foundation brush. Happy to check this one out. And your powder brush, which for a powder brush it's probably a little stiff for me, but I'll be happy to give those a try. I love foundation brushes. My choice item was this, which was the Kypris Antioxidant Dew Quench and Glow Serum. Serum. Um, I'm not sure if I'll actually use it. I don't remember what the other choice was offhand. And, ew. Well, let's hope I don't use it because I don't know if you can see that. I just tried to touch it and it's got very sticky, weird stuff on it. Oh, man. I'll just put that back in the box. I'll check that out later and see if it's actually opened or what happened. The serum, I guess, feels good, but right now that, that piece is a little gross. So the brushes were valued at $35, and that Kypris Leaky Serum was valued at $90. Um, $90. Okay. So we got the Celestial Thunder Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. Oh, those are nice. Those are larger pans. I'll have to check, like, the weight to see which pans, you know, but it they larger pans of shadow for sure. These are really nice. I love this zero gravity color, which is kind of like a, a gray brown color. Lunar Eclipse, Storm Dust. So these look like ones that I would really like. And this fireball color in here, kind of an orange coppery. That's really pretty. I think I'll like this. I wasn't sure if I'd like this palette, but the colors are really pretty. They seem better in person. And the palette was valued at $35 on the palette. Oops the foam out of the way. So looks like we got two skin masks and I'm not a face mask. I'm not a real big fan of um, sheet masks. I'd rather have a nice clay, you know, face mask, wash off type than a sheet mask. But these are by Tula Skin Care Star Bright Nourishing and Brightening Cosmic Hydrogel Masks. So it's probiotics and superfoods. And these are valued at $22, so $11 a mask. And I know Tula Skin Care is a really good brand. So then I got the Dose of Colors, and it is in the shade, oh, Nude Mood. Awesome. Oh, that's a pretty color. Definitely looks like a color I would like. Oh, yeah. It feels really nice, too. Lots of pigment in that one. That's pretty. So that was a dose of colors. Liquid matte lipstick for $18. So I don't know the overall value of my box. I didn't add it up beforehand because I didn't see the card. But like I said, I did get version number 10 that did include the sheet mask, the dose of colors, the Celestial Thunder palette, the two brushes by BoxyCharm, and this uh, Kypress syrup, which it is, it's funny, it's leaking, but it's not open. I was wondering if maybe the bottle got tampered with, but it's just literally just leaking 
from the cap here. And it's a very, oh, that's kind of a thick serum filling, but I'm sure it's just because it's been exposed to the air. So yeah, that was my BoxyCharm for November. So I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. Bye.